Special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tour possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle. The F-15E Strike Eagle is an American all-weather multi-role strike fighter derived from the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. The F-15E was designed in the 1980s for long-range, high-speed interdiction without relying on escort or electronic warfare aircraft. The United States Air Force F-15E Strike Eagles can generally be distinguished from other U.S. Eagle variants by a darker aircraft camouflage, uh, conformal fuel tanks mounted along the engine intake ramps, and a tandem seat cockpit. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and Libya, among others. During these operations, the Strike Fighter has carried out deep strikes against high-value targets and combined air patrols and provided close air support for coalition troops. It has been exported to several countries. So yeah, the F-15E Strike Eagle here, a really cool uh, American jet, probably my favorite of the F-15 series. Uh, basically, they took the air superiority F-15 fighter and equipped it to basically be a bomber. Um, so, really, really cool uh, in that kind of sense. Um, it still has the air superiority capabilities as the F-15 uh, normally does. Uh, probably a little bit less maneuverability due to uh, the more fuel it's supposed to carry and also more payload in terms of bombs and um, weaponry like that. Uh, but overall, really cool looking aircraft, and uh, as I said, probably one of my favorites uh, of the F-15 series of aircraft. Um, as you can see here, we have the darker camouflage, we have a bit of a bigger canopy, which signifies the two-seater uh, F-15Es, uh, which is a bit of a different step compared to the F-15Cs uh, or F-15As where they were single seat. And uh, overall, looks really really nice and it's pretty cool we do have a load of bombs on this aircraft along with some air-to-air -air missiles so you guys can uh, obviously have fun with that you can add your own armaments too if you really want to but uh, bombs seem like a pretty good loadout to show that this is an F-15E as this thing is designed to basically go into behind enemy lines and drop bombs anyways before we go and take a look at the aircraft I'm going to go and give special links to uh, Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this support possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can post a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request to your choosing to pay on which tier you sub to. Uh, it helps me out a lot with the channel and supporting the work I do and is obviously extremely appreciated. So feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, go ahead and take a look here at the F-15E. It looks really, really, really nice. And if you built my previous F-15C, you're going to notice that they're pretty much about the same um, in terms of structure. There are a few little things here detail-wise that I changed, and there's also a few structural things I changed here and there, uh, just kind of updating the F-15E. As the F-15C I posted uh, a while back is almost a year old and could use some updating. As you can see, I did update it here with the new blocks and a few little different details and stuff. Uh, but yeah, focused on the F-15E here, very similar to the F-15C, pretty much nearly identical. Uh, you can see we have the gray camouflage here using gray wool and gray concrete. Unfortunately, we don't have a slab that or stair that really matches, so I use stone brick as that's our closest, really, unfortunately. Um, on the bottom here, you can see we do have a bomb loadout here, so quite a few bombs. Uh, we have four on these pillars here, and then, so four on both sides, so that's eight, and then we have six here in the middle. So you have a total of 14 bombs on the bottom there, which is a pretty good payload. We also have some uh, air to air missiles here mounted above the pylons here for the external fuel tanks. As we work our way back, we have obviously the two engines here, our uh, vertical stabilizers and a yellow tail flash. Um, just some random lettering here, random uh, basically aircraft number and all that stuff. And that's really about it. Overall, really nice looking aircraft and I do think that it came out really good, so hope you guys all do enjoy it as well. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, go ahead and begin with our first layer, and we'll go ahead and start off with layer 3. Now we're going to be starting with layer 3 because layer 3 gives us a good basis here to kind of add on to, so we'll be able to easily add layer 4 on, and then also be able to add layers 1 and 2 um, off the bottom of this layer. So it's pretty straightforward stuff, and uh, it's going to give us a nice starting point, to say the very least. If you do want to build the landed version, and um, 
all that, you will need to take some things into consideration when you start building this layer. Now, the way I structure this is we're going to be going ahead and doing the landing gear as a modification to the in-flight version. So we're going to build the aircraft as if it's in flight, um, and we're going to build it super close to the ground, obviously, and then we're going to add a landing gear on so that it will sit on the ground. Um, so it's very important to make sure that if you are planning on adding a landing gear, to make sure that you build this cr the correct out of the ground. Now this is layer 3, and layer 3 is going to be a total of 3 blocks above the ground. As you can see, we have 3 full blocks of space between this layer here and the ground level right there. Very important to make sure that that's correct, because if it's one block off, it's gonna not it's not going to sit right on the ground, basically. Um, also, in addition, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're building each layer half on camera, and then... Uh, the other half will be built by you guys uh, in between our layers. So as you can see here, I have the center line built. I'm going to be building the right side on camera. And then once we have this done, we'll have the right side and left side done. You'll be All you need to do is copy what we did on the right side over to the left side. This uh, aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done on the other. And let's go and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down an iron trap door. And this is going to be on the top portion of this block and not on the bottom portion, like so. We're going to place down two stone brick pop slabs, followed by a stone brick upside down stair. From that, we're going to go and then take our gray concrete, and we're going to place down a row of gray concrete, going back a total of 26 blocks. Again, that's 26 blocks here, going back from that stone brick stair up there. We're going to go and then place down two stone brick top, or sorry, four stone brick top slabs, and then three iron trap doors coming off those top slabs. And right there will form the center line here of our fuselage. Moving out to the sides here, we're going to go and place down these stone bricks upside down stair, coming off this uh, gray concrete block, and then coming off that stair and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stone brick uh, stairs back like this, up and down, and then a stone brick corner stair here on the end. So this stair in the front here should be a corner stair. We have our stone brick stairs here, which in total are 12, and then our upside down corner stair here on the end. After that, we're going to take our gray concrete, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, gray concrete blocks back at like that. We're going to go ahead and place down two polished inside blocks and then two uh, polished inside upside down stairs, like so. After those polished inside upside down stairs, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs, cut off those two upside down uh, polished inside stairs. After that, again going up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and work our way out to the sides again. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, wither skeleton skull, and we want to go ahead and go to the fourth stair back. So we have one, two, three, it's our fourth stair back. We're going to place that with a wither skeleton skull coming off of it, and then a end rod coming off the skeleton skull facing toward the front. And that's four of our regular stairs, so we're not including the, the, counter, the corner stair there. So it's one, two, three, and then our fourth normal upside down stair. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back here to our uh, stair right here. So it's going to be our second to last normal stair. And we're going to go ahead and go off of it with a snow brick stair like that. We then want to place a black concrete block next to it, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 gray concrete blocks back, followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4. Polished inside full blocks, two black concrete blocks, and then one and two narrow brick top side count for those of two black concrete blocks. After that, again going up to the front here and out to the sides, we're going to go off this stone brick stair, stair facing it, so just like this, and then we're going to place down a black concrete block come off the side of the stair. From that, we're going to take our gray concrete, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen gray concrete blocks back, two polished inside full blocks, and two polished inside of sound stairs followed by two narrow brick upside down stairs there on the side. Going up to the sides here of our intakes, we're going to go ahead and go to our second gray concrete block right here. We're going to place nine stone brick wall on this side, followed by one, two, and three after it. And then we're going to take our stone brick stairs, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick upside down stairs, and then one, two, three stone brick walls. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone brick top slab, Followed by a row of two of birchwood top slabs, and then we want to go and then place down a row of three of iron trap doors like that after those birchwood slabs. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then go to the space across from our stone brick stairs. So right here, we're going to go and skip two block spaces, and we're going to go and place a stone brick wall like this. Followed by one, two, three, and four back. So you have a row of five there that lines up with these five stone brick upside down stairs. 
we get to this point where we go ahead and build our area our missiles. So for this, it's a very um, simple design here. So what we're gonna do here to be, go ahead and get started for these is we wanna go ahead and go to this middle stone brick wall, and we're gonna go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair like this to both sides. So we want the back of the stair facing toward the rear of the aircraft. We then wanna place down a skeleton school on the back of those two stairs, and then going forward uh, from those stairs, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of four of quartz tops up. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the tips here of these of the quartz tops up row, we're gonna go ahead and place down a skeleton school on both ends. We want to go ahead and go to the side here of this uh, quartz upside down stair, and on both missiles here to the sides, we're going to place down two birchwood fence gates, open up like so toward the missile, and then we're going to go and then place down some birchwood signs there on the sides of those fence gates. After that's done, we want to go and then place down two birchwood signs on the side here, a birchwood fence gate open up like so, and then a birchwood sign here on the side of this last slab. Same thing on the inside here as well. Like so, and we can't really do anything on the inside here because we can't put two signs in the same block space. So we're just going to go ahead and leave those two open there in the inside. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for the right side. And with that, that is going to complete layer number three for the build. All you need to do now is take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have a completely symmetrical design that looks just like this. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number three. With that, let's go ahead and move down to layer number two. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to the bottom here of our fuselage. We're going to go to the third block back of gray concrete. We're going to place down an end rod that comes down from it. We're going to go back 1, 2, and 3 blocks back in our third block. We're going to place down an end rod that comes down also, save a space of 2 between these two end rods here in the front. When that's done, we're going to go ahead and go all the way back here to this portion. So for this, Best way to go ahead and do this is to go back here to where our stone brick corner stairs are. We're going to go ahead and go to the gray concrete block in between them, and we're going to go, go back one. Now, coming off the bottom of this gray concrete block, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, followed by two, three, four, five, and six. So you have a row of six here of stone brick walls down the center. Out to the sides here, we're going to go off of the first stone brick wall with a gray concrete block. Zombie head coming off of it going forward. A second green concrete block that goes back from it, mossy cobblestone wall, and then a zombie head, or sorry, just a mossy cobblestone wall. And we're going to then uh, go back to this stone brick wall here, green terracotta block, zombie head coming off it toward the front, green terracotta block, or green uh, concrete block back, and then a uh, mossy cobblestone wall. So you could use green uh, concrete or a uh, zombie head or a green terracotta block, sorry, whichever you prefer. We then want to go and go after the Mossy cobblestone wall to place down a stone brick slab, followed by one, two, three, and four iron trap doors back like so. Our next row here, we're going to go ahead and go out to the side. We're going to go actually forward here to where this stone brick upside down stair is for the intake. We're going to place down an iron trap door that comes off of it. We then want to take our stone brick slabs and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stone brick tops as we go back like so. Followed by one, two, three, and four iron trap doors like that back. Our next row out to the side here is going to be a little bit different as we do have these hard points, which are basically for the bomb to connect to. So to begin with, for this section here, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off the bottom of the stair, two stone brick slabs back, and we want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two stone brick upside down stairs like this, followed by a stone brick upside down corner stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick slab that is going to be in the middle here. So the stone brick slab here. And then again, two stone brick ups down stairs, stone brick ups down corner stair, and then a stone brick slab coming off that corner stair like so, going back, followed by one, two, three, and four iron trap doors on the bottom there, like so. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then go to the outsides here. So we're going to start off by going ahead and line up with this stone brick stair. This first one here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block or green concrete block that comes off of it. Zombie head coming off of it forward, green concrete block back, and a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to go, and go to this stone brick stair here and do the same thing. Green concrete block, zombie head, green concrete block back, and a mossy cobblestone wall for the bombs right there. Now once that's done, we want to go and then go ahead and move to our pylon here or our outer one here to go ahead and make our external fuel tank here mount onto the wings. So to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go to the bottom of this stone brick walls here, and we're going to place down a row of five of gray concrete blocks as a starting point. So we have that row of five there on the bottom of those stone brick walls. 
We went for the back, we're going to place down one more additional gray concrete block, a stone brick slab, or sorry, stone brick stair, and then a stone brick slab, just like that. After that's done, on both sides of this gray concrete block, we're going to place down a wither skeleton school. We then want to place down two stone brick walls, one, two, one, two, going toward the front. And then we want to go ahead and go on the other side, or going toward the front here, we're going to place down three additional gray concrete blocks, so one, two, three. And we're going to then place down one and two stone brick slabs going forward. After that, we're going to go to the sides of this last gray concrete block here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull to both sides. Going back from it, two stone brick walls, and then one, two, three gray concrete blocks. Same thing over here, two stone brick walls, and three gray concrete blocks, just like that. And after that's all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number two for the build. Obviously take the same thing we did over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side and you guys will be good to go. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number two. Let's move into layer number one. I guess moving into layer one. Layer one's pretty simple, so we'll go ahead and very much do this whole layer all together. To begin with, we're going to start on our outer pylon here. We're going to go to the bottom of these stone brick uh, slabs, we're going to place down two iron trapdoors, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone brick top slabs back, and then two iron trapdoors here on the end. We're also going to place down two iron trapdoors on the bottom of these uh, gray concrete blocks here, and same thing over here, like so. For the bombs here, we're going to go and go drop, we're going to drop down from these stone brick stairs here. We're going to place down a green concrete block, zombie head going forward, narrow green concrete block back, and a monster close to wall. Uh, I'm not going to really explain these bombs anymore because they're the same design across the board here and we're going to have the same one right here starting from this there. In this section here we're going to basically build our bombs here on the bottom of these pylons and again we're going to have these in the same position kind of lined up with the bombs from the previous layer. They're just going to be in this middle space down by one. And again we have the bombs, same thing over here as we did on the air side. So just mount it onto these hard points here underneath the fuel tanks, or underneath the uh, intakes there, and we have that done. Now we're going to go and then go to this last uh, external fuel pod, and we're going to go ahead and just very simply do what we did on the other one. So just like this, and our iron trap doors, same thing over here, one, two, three. And with that, that is going to do it there for layer one. With that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number four. All right guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place a stone brick slab on top of this iron trap door, followed by a stone, or an iron trap door come off this stone brick slab. After that, we're going to go ahead and place a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six great concrete blocks. Now at this point here, you gotta kinda pick and choose what you wanna do here. We have this space of black concrete here, which is gonna be designed to fill in the cockpit, so there's kind of just a black space filled in there. If you do want to create an interior for this aircraft, you're going to want to go ahead and either, uh, or if you're going to create an interior, you're going to want to leave the space of seven open, so seven blocks open here, and then you're going to resume your gray concrete. If you do want to close the cockpit off from the outside view, you can go and just take your uh, black concrete and just fill in a row seven here after this gray concrete. So either a row seven of left open, left open space or uh, a row seven of black concrete. We're then going to go ahead and after that continue our row of gray concrete back, which in total is going to be 19 blocks long, followed by a stone brick stair, and then three stone brick slabs come off the face of the stair. After that, again, going up to the front here, we're going to place down a skeleton school, or a wither skeleton school, sorry, come off this uh, gray concrete block, followed by three stone brick walls back, and then one, two, three, four, five gray concrete blocks, a black concrete block, and then we're going to go ahead and take our gray concrete again. And go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Great concrete blocks back. I'm going to go and check the count here. 22 in total. We're going to then place that polished and set block. And then 1, 2, 3 black concrete blocks and a narrow brick wall here on the end. Once uh, that's done, we're going to go to the side here of the fuselage. We want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button a tripwire hook, and also an item frame, along with a black banner. We're going to go, ahead and go to the side here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on the side of this black concrete block, followed by an item frame to both sides, and in those item frames are going to place down a back black banner, and rotate them around so that the banner is facing toward the black concrete block. So just like that. And we're going to go ahead and basically do the 
Uh, same thing over here on this side, obviously. And then we're gonna have a trip bar hook right here on this great concrete block right on top of this Blitter Skeleton Skull. After that's done, we're going to take a stone brick top slab. We're going to place it down on this great concrete block. So right after this banner here. And we want to go ahead and then place down a stone brick upside down stair, which I believe is a normal stair. So we're going to have a upside down stair like this, followed by one and two after it to a row of three. We then want to place it on a black concrete block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen great concrete blocks back. A glowstone block, and then one and two more interesting glass blocks like that. Now, if you are planning to have this in the in basically on your airfield um, part in the engines not operational, I would highly recommend just filling this in with some black concrete to close that, um, close the inside off. Up to you guys though, and what you guys want to do for that. Um, anyways, go ahead and go back up here. We're going to place down your stone brick top slab, come off this one right here. And we want to go and take our stone brick up downstairs and pretty much do the same thing. So one, two, three, stone brick up downstairs across like that. After that's done, we're going to then take our black concrete. We're going to place it on a black concrete block, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, sixteen gray concrete blocks back. A polished andesite block, and then one, two, three black concrete blocks, followed by another brick wall here on the end. Once uh, that's all finished there. We want to go ahead and move on to our next route to the side here. So for this, we're going to go to the first great concrete block right after this black concrete block. We're going to place down the east stone brick upside down stair like this, followed by one and two upside down stairs back. So we have a corner stair and then two regular stairs. We then want to go ahead and grab our great concrete, or sorry, great banners. We're going to place down two great banners here on the side of this uh, black concrete block and also this stone brick stair. From this, we're going to then take our gray concrete. We're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Gray concrete blocks back, and then two stone top slabs like that at the end of that row. Going ahead and moving into the wings. To go ahead and start with, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, come off this upside down stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Stone brick top slabs back, so you have a row 9. And we want to go ahead and place down a row of two of smooth stone top slabs after that. We're going to go ahead and go to the second stone brick top slab. Go out to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, two smooth stone top slabs. We're going to go ahead and again go to the second top slab. So right here, one stone brick top slab, one, two, three, four, five, six. So until this, you get row seven, and then two smooth stone slabs. We have a row of six here stone brick top slabs, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two stone top slabs. So you should get something that looks like this so far here for the wings. After that's done, our next row here, we're going to take our stone brick top slabs. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we want to go and then place down two smooth stone top slabs again. Next row here, row of five, one, two, three, four, five. Again, having that indent here from the, from the beginning to keep this kind of continual slope there. Two stone top slabs, and we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, one, two, three, four this time, and then two stone top slabs. Now we get to this point here, it's a little, little bit different. We're going to do a row of five this time, a stone brick top slab, so one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to then do a row of four, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two on the middle, two stone brick top slabs. So your wings should look something just like this here. And it's going to be the same thing on both sides. One thing I do want to mention though is that for our pylons here, we do want to go ahead and replace the stone brick top slabs uh, above these stone brick walls for stone brick stairs like that as a connection to the uh, actual wings themselves. And for these two, you could actually, for us, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to use gray concrete. So we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of five of gray concrete blocks on top of those stone brick walls there for our pylons. And uh, once you have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically work on our horizontal stabilizers. So this will be the same thing there on both sides and then into our horizontal stabilizers. So for these, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and go off this last stone brick slab, or top slab, we're going to place any stone brick slab out to the side. We then want to take our iron trap doors and we're going to place a row of four of iron trap doors coming off that stone brick slab. We want to go ahead and go to the middle two iron trap doors and we're going to place down two iron trap doors going toward the back coming off those middle two iron trap doors. We're going to place down a stone brick slab here to the side, 
or going forward from this one, and then the iron trap door, two stone brick slabs, and then a iron trap door. Our next row here is going to be a row of one, two, three, four stone brick slabs across. We're going to then do a row of one, two, three. We want to go and then do a stone brick slab, iron trap door, and then one iron trap door just like that. And that right there will basically complete your horizontal stabilizers and also our wings. And with that, that will wrap up layer number four for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, you're going to start with here. We're going to place that iron trap door on top of this gray concrete block, followed by a stone brick slab back, stone brick stair, and then two gray concrete blocks come off the back of the stone brick stair. We then want to take our black concrete. We're going to place down a row of seven black concrete blocks uh, across this middle space here. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven gray concrete blocks back. And again, if you are leaving space for interior, you can go and leave the seven row seven of black concrete just empty space to build your own cockpit if you want to go ahead and go back after that row of gray concrete we're going to place down a stone brick stair two stone brick slabs two daylight detectors turn to night mode and then two iron trap doors like that on the end there after that's done we want to go ahead and then go up to the front here again the nose and we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, wither skeleton skull here at a slight angle on this third stone brick wall Followed by a stone brick slab back, and then one, two, and three stone brick stairs. We're going to then take our gray concrete, we're going to place it in our row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve gray concrete blocks back. A stone brick stair face in that direction. Coming off that stair, one and two stairs, so it turns into a core stair, and then you have the two normal stairs. Then uh, again, one, two, three stone brick slabs, and then one, two, three, four, five uh, of these stone brick walls like that. After that, uh, we want to go and then grab a uh, polished anisite stair and a polished anisite full block, which we'll be using for the next row. But we're going to go and after these stone brick walls, place down two um, polished anisite stairs, and we're going to go and then place down a uh, narrow brick stair followed by a narrow brick corner stair after that stair, like so. Once uh, that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then go back up to the sides here where our intakes are. And we're going to go and take our gray carpet and place down two gray carpets on top of these two stone brick slabs. After that, we're going to place down two iron trap doors, followed by another two iron trap doors, uh, two stone brick slabs, two smooth stone slabs, and we're going to go ahead and stop right there for the time being. We want to go ahead and go to the side here of the fuselage as well, and we're going to go ahead and grab an iron frame, black concrete block, and also a dark open sign. We're going to go ahead and go to this. Uh, gray concrete block, so the second one from this stone brick stair. We're going to place down an item frame, a black concrete block in it, rotate it on its side so it's kind of forming a diamond shape, and then a dark oak sign over it, like so, for the side there. After that's done, we're going to then go back to the section here. After those two smooth stone slabs, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs, followed by a polished anisite slab. We're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick slabs back, followed by a stone brick stair, and then one, two, three, four, and five gray concrete blocks back, followed by one and two polished anisite blocks, and one and two black carpet, followed by one and two narrow brick slabs. After that, uh, again, going up to the front here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, slab, coming off this a uh, stone slab here, followed by a second one, and then a polished anisite slab. We then want to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick slabs back, followed by an iron trap door, and then one, two, three, four, five, six stone brick walls. We're then going to go ahead and take our polished anisite stairs and place down one and two polished anisite stairs, followed by a narrow brick stair and a narrow brick corner stair like that directly after them. Again, going up the sides here, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this stone brick upside down stair here. We're going to then place down a wither skeleton skull back at a slight angle. And going back from the wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone brick slabs, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, or sorry, my bad, eight uh, iron trap doors. So, eight iron trap doors. We're going to then place down a stone brick stair, followed by one, two, three concrete blocks and then a row of one and two smooth stone 
full blocks, a stone brick slab, and then one and two iron trap doors to turn off that stone brick slab. Uh, for our wings here, uh, to go ahead and get started for these bad boys. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. We're going to have an indent from the front here and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight iron trap doors back. Our next row here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors. Our next row, row four, we're going to have a row four, so one, two, three, four. Again, we're having an indent here from the front snow brick slab every single time. Uh, we're going to go into the new row of one, two, three, followed by another row of three, so one, two, three, and then a row of two, one, two. So you should have something that looks like this here for uh, those iron trap doors. On the remaining stone brick top slabs and gray concrete blocks, we're going to go and just very simply take gray carpet and place it down on top of them like this to kind of keep that gray color here for the aircraft. And uh, with that all complete there, that has the wings done. And our back here is done, and with that, that is going to complete what we have here for layer number five. As you can see, this was so big from up above here, and you can definitely sort of see we are starting to get this uh, shape of the aircraft coming together. Anyways, that right there is it for layer five. Let's move on to layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and go, we're going to place that iron trapdoor on the second great concrete block, block back like that. We then want to place in our row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light gray concrete blocks, followed by a black concrete block, two gray concrete blocks, two stone brick slabs, a daylight detector, and then an iron trap door like that down our center line here for our cockpit. Moving on to the sides here of the cockpit, we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes on the sides of these two light gray stainless full blocks, followed by one, two, and three light gray stainless full blocks, a light gray stainless pane, followed by a stone brick slab, a stone brick stair face in this direction, and then come off the stair, we're going to have a stone brick stair like this, so you have a corner stair, normal stair, stone brick slab, and then we want to go ahead and place down a row of 1 and 2, daylight detectors turned to night mode, and then an iron trap door there on the end. And that right there is going to wrap up basically your cockpit here for the Slayer. Move back here to the tips of our engines, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door on your third grade concrete block here, followed by a second iron trap door back, two stone brick slabs, or sorry, we're going to do one stone brick slab and then a, a polished andesite slab. So we go into our credit menu and grab one of those bad boys. And we're going to place it down after the stone brick slab. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors back, like so. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to go to our vertical stabilizer. So basically this so here, we're going to place down three great concrete blocks on top of those three blocks there. And then two smooth stone, smooth, uh, stone slabs on top of those two blocks here um, and then our buttons here to both sides like that for our uh, basically rudders here on the tail. Now one thing I want to mention also is that you can do the uh, three digit aircraft uh, number so for this uh, I just have 101 as like a tutorial uh, type number 101 however you can choose whatever numbers you guys want I will be linking the tutorial down in the description that shows you guys how to do numbered and letter banners so you'll be able to do your tail markings um, using those banner tutorials uh, I will not be showing you guys how to make any banners in this uh, tutorial as uh, you guys can go to those videos and make whatever numbers you want for them so uh, especially if you have like a formation of these switch all the numbers up between the two or between all your jets it's going to definitely make the aircraft or just make the whole scene look a lot better as it's not the same aircraft it kind of actually has some designation to it you can look up actual real F-15Es and also copy their tail numbers and uh, build those ones for example and same thing goes for the tail you can actually look at what bases do have F-15s and actually build um, them with the uh, proper uh, basically two or the two letter des or kind of base designation and also the uh, tail flash for the squadron so, uh, yeah, you have some playability there, um, so feel free to look at those tutorials there to make those banners, and the banners, again, simply go on these three great concrete blocks here. Pretty simple. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number six. With that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers seven through twelve. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be doing basically them all, all together since it's pretty simple stuff. We're going to start off by going to our cockpit on top of this second light gray stainless block. We're going to place down another brick slab on top of it. Then go back from the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair, followed by one, two, and three, and four, like gray stainless blocks back, followed by a narrow brick stair, and a narrow brick slab. 
And then on this gray concrete block in the end, we're going to place down an end rod. Now from this, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle two gray concrete blocks, or light gray stainless blocks, and we're going to place down two dark oak wood trapdoors on top of those. And we also want to go ahead and go to the sides here. Now on the sides of this dark oak, for this narrow brick stair, on top of those light gray stainless full blocks, we're going to place down a layer skeleton skull here at a slight angle. And same thing back here next to this narrow brick stair here on top of those two stone brick ups down corner stairs. From that, we're going to go ahead and then take our uh, like gray stainless paints, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, like gray stainless paints, and then one, two, three, four. Um, after that's all done, uh, that's going to basically wrap up the uh, front nose here and the canopy and all that. Moving back to our tails here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down, we're going to go ahead and grab some stone brick slabs, some gray concrete, um, some smooth stone blocks, stone buttons. Uh, we're going to use yellow here for the tail flash, dark oak with signs, and that right there should kind of do it for what we need. Uh, we're basically going to do these uh, vertical stabilizers real simple. We're going to go on top of this gray concrete block. We're going to place down a stone brick stair, one and two uh, gray concrete blocks back, and then two smooth stone blocks here. Stone buns are on both sides of that one. After that, we're going to go, and go up again, two gray concrete blocks, then actually sorry, row three, and then smooth stone slab here on the end here, stone button on both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down a snow brick stair on top of this one, there's this block here, one and two great concrete blocks back, two smooth stone blocks, stone buttons here on both sides like so. We're going to go up again, smooth stone block, two great concrete blocks, and then uh, when we get to this point here we have our tail flash. Now what the tail flash is, is usually a color designation for the squadron this aircraft belongs to. Um, it can be various different patterns or just solid colors, uh, usually with the squadron logo in it. Um, just really kind of depends on what base it's from and what squadron and what they kind of do. Uh, but for us, we're going to be going ahead and doing a yellow tail flash here. You can go and choose whatever color you want as long as you have a stair that matches some of the color you're choosing. So for this, we're going to do yellow, we're going to do a birchwood stair, and then two yellow concrete blocks back. You can do something completely different if you want to. Um, again, this is just what I'm using for my example. Anyways, on top of these two uh, blocks right here, we're going to place down two great concrete blocks on top, a stone brick uh, slab, or top slab coming off that first great concrete block there, a end rod coming off of it, and then we're going to place down dark liquid signs on the sides here of these blocks, and stone brick walls. So just like this, and we're going to go ahead and also place down a skeleton skull. Come off this um, gray concrete block like that. And on the very top here, we're going to go ahead and go to the two uh, gray concrete blocks. We're going to place down two iron trap doors. Also, uh, we're going to go ahead and swap that skeleton skull out for a wither skeleton skull. And that right there will pretty much complete your vertical stabilizer. Um, one thing to also mention is that if you do want to do the basically base uh, code on it, uh, it's basically usually two letters. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place them down right here on these two gray concrete blocks, D, Y. Uh, just raise some random letters there. You can go ahead and actually look up real bases that do support the F-15 and uh, basically use their tail code there. Also, we want stone buttons here on the tail flash so this colored block and then the smooth stone full block right there so same thing there on both sides and after that's done we're gonna go ahead and then do the same thing for this vertical stabilizer so uh, pretty, pretty much the same thing I'm not gonna explain that again how to do it uh, make sure that you keep the basically the base designation here on the outside of the tail of the vertical stabilizer not, not on the inside because they do not go there um, so I'm gonna go and build it real quick and we'll take a look at both the vertical stabilizers and with our other vertical stabilizer transferred over, this is what it should look like. We also want to go ahead and place down a gray carpet on top of these two stone brick top slabs, which I forgot to do, so make sure to go ahead and include that. Anyways, that right there is going to pretty much wrap up the in-flight version for the F-15E Strike Eagle. We're going to go ahead and now move into the land version, so if you do want to make this thing landed, we will be going ahead and covering uh, basically how to put the landing gear on this aircraft. So with that, uh, that's it for the in-flight version. Let's go ahead and move into the landing gear. Alright guys, moving into our final part of the tutorial, we'll be covering how to put the uh, landing gear on the aircraft. So for the landing gear, we're going to be going ahead and start with the nose here. We're going to go ahead and go to this space here, so we're going to skip a space back from the end rod. And we're going to go ahead and then go up and delete these three great concrete blocks. We're going to place down two quartz slabs and then a barret wall right here. 
We're going to drop down from the dead right wall, one more, and then we're going to place down quartz upside down stair on the bottom here. On the bottom of the quartz upside down stair, we want to go in uh, very simply, grab ourselves a block of coal, and we're going to place down a block of coal on the bottom of that stair. So, just like this, to both sides of the block of coal, we're going to place down a stone button, item frame, might seem less pain in the item frame, same thing over here. And then coming off the stair here toward the front, we're going to place an iron frame and a snowball. We then want to place down a quartz stair coming off the direct wall, and a quartz top side coming off the stair like that. On the bottom of the stair, we're going to place down a lever and have it flick toward the um, stair just like that. And that right there is going to finish your front wheel. And with that, we're going to move into the rear wheels. I guess we're going to and move into the rear wheels. And the rear wheels here are really simple as well. We're going to go and go to this section here. We're going to go and delete this stone brick corner stair and then this stone brick top slab. In its place, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, or sorry, a quartz top slab, and then a quartz stair just like this. So, like that. So, you get something that looks like this here. And we're going to then go down from the quartz stair with a direct wall and then a quartz top slab here on the bottom of the direct wall. We're then going to place an air brick up down stair like this to the side, a stair on top of it, and then two air brick stairs on the back like that to go ahead and make the circular wheel. Now, I will be going ahead and also showing you guys some banners you can make to go ahead and kind of detail the wheel up a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more shape. But anyways, go ahead and take that same design, copy it over to the air wheel, and I'm going to go ahead and move it to show you guys how to make those banners. I guess so to make these banners really simple, we're going to go into a loom, and we're going to take our black banners and put them into our loom along with a box of white dye. We're going to go and select the lines here on the left side, so a white line on the left side of the banner, and then we're going to select the line here on the right side of the banner. We're going to go then take these two banners, we're going to place them back into the loom, or first one here with our line on the left side, and we're going to then place down black dye. We're going to go and select the bottom left corner here with black, and then we're going to go select the top left corner so we create this part of the wheel. After that, we're going to go do the same thing here with this banner, but this is the right line on the right side, so we're going to go and select the bottom right corner here, and then the top right corner. So we get these two bitters here and they're going to very simply go on the side of the wheel like so. And then a black banner over here on this side as well. So you want the black banners here basically with the quartz center here facing toward each other like that. And that right there is going to basically be there on both sides. And with that, that is going to complete that wheel design. You're going to take that same design and copy it over to the other side. And you'll pretty much be good for the landing gear. And with that, that is going to complete my tutorial here for the F-15 E Strike Eagle. If you guys do enjoy the tutorial and are able to put it to use, if you do am using this as I do, I say you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thank you from the side of the build. Thanks to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite project you guys are working on overall. Enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. If, uh, uh, Ah, that's actually good. I uh, don't know where I was going with that, but that's good there. Again, big special thanks to uh, Patreon supporter Z Pro Wolfer for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's been great to before, and I'll see you guys next time.